Hi friends, today we are going to see the construction and working of light dependent resistor in Prodis software which is also called as a NDR. At very first, you should launch Prodis software on your device for designing purpose. Ok, then click on new design, set your default dimension and click on ok. Then you get your own dimension, zoom it for better vision. At very first, we will search for a light dependent resistor that is a LDR. Here we will need a torch LDR, click on torch LDR and click on ok. Place it in a dimension. Now we will search for a resistor. Here we will need a 3 resistor wherein 2 resistor of 10 kilo ohm and 1 resistor of 330 ohm. There you go for resistance R1, placed it and rotated it wisely. Similarly placed resistance R2, and rotated it wisely and similarly you, uh, placed uh, resistor R3 which is having a value of 330 ohm. Now we will search for a transistor uh, that is a transistor BC547. Click on transistor BC547, click on OK, placed it in a dimension, rotated it as per your requirement. Similarly, now we will search for light emitting diode that is a yellow color LED. There you go for animated yellow LED. Click on it, click on OK, placed it in a dimension and rotated it as per the circuit requirement. Now uh, we will uh, provide a ground terminal to the circuit. Click on place, click on terminal, and click on ground and provide the ground terminal to the circuit. Similarly, we will provide a power string to the circuit, click on terminal and click on power. And there you go for power string which is placed in series with LDR. Now we will connect all the wires with respect to their polarities. Here resistance R2 is connected and the base of transistor is also connected with resistance R2. Connector is now connected to the cathode of diode and the anode is connected to the resistance R3. Complete the path with respect to resistance R3 which is having a value 330 ohm. Now the emitter of transistor is grounded in similar way the resistance R1 is also grounded. Now we will set the names of resistor that is resistance R1 which is of 10 kilo ohm, resistance R2 which is of 10 kilo ohm and resistance R3 which is having a value of 330 ohm. Similarly, we will set the names of diode that is a diode D1 and now we will provide a value to the power string that is a plus 5 volt. Okay, save your file for save your file and there you go for simulation. Now when the positive potential is provided as you can see the LED is glowing and when the negative potential is provided the LED turn off. Ok now we will see what happen when the resistance R1 and LDR are interchange with each other and their position. Uh, at very first we will delete resistor R1 select it uh, click on delete button. Okay, now we will uh, delete LDR, delete it. Now we will place a resistance uh, R1 uh, in place of LDR. There you go, uh, placed it, and uh, now we will select torch LDR. And uh, LDR is placed in place of a resistance R1. Now we will connect all the wires. Uh, resistance R1 is connected to the R2, and the R2 is connected to the LDR. Uh, as you can see, now the LDR is uh, grounded. Uh, okay. Now uh, we will uh, set the value of resistance R3 that is a uh, hundred ohm. Click on OK. Okay. Now we will uh, provide a name to the resistance uh, R1, which is having a value of 10k. And there you go for simulation. So as you can see, uh, at a, a lower potential the LED is glowing. So when higher potential is provided, LED turn off. And again when lower potential is provided, LED start glowing thank you so much for watching if you like our video subscribe our channel